So I've got a couple different ideas over the past few days that I've been wanting to try. And one thing I want to try today is I want to see if I can make one of these things called a smash burger. And so basically it's going to be like a grilled cheese sandwich, but it's going to have, it's going to be like a cheeseburger at the same time. So let's see if we can do that. That's going to be the first one I want to try. So we need to get some stuff out. So let's see. All right, let's get some stuff out so we can get this going. First thing I need to do is, um, let's see. I'm going to have to have a couple things going on here at the same time. Chuck patties here from Food Line, and hopefully they're going to be really good. I got the 80-20, so it should be a little bit better burger. And so that's what we're going to be cooking. One of the items. Something's telling me I need to put some sautéed onions on. So that's what I'm going to do first. Chop up a couple of these thin slices. You see how I cut it in two different pieces? I don't know if you can see that. But um, so the first one, sorry, the piece of that onion peel. The first one I got like a solid uh, medallion, and then this one is cut. I'm gonna cut it in half. This one kind of like went to different pieces. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna have two of these burgers. Perfect. So, sorry, I got a container for my pan. Sorry about that. And let's put these in the pan and get them cooking. Hope you're all having a great day. I woke up in a good mood today, so I feel like doing a few videos. And so this is going to be the first one. Put a little bit of pepper in there with it. And a little bit of salt. Oh, so that's why I do that every time. Okay, we have our onions cooking, and now to make our smash burger, we're going to have to do some smashing. So you want to get this. In the pan, I've already got the pan a little bit hot, so I'm going to season. So you get your spatula and you literally just start smashing. You don't um, push too hard or it's going to lose its shape. It may be a good idea to just do it one at a time. But and I mean, I kind of figure things out as it's going along. So these are going to be more oblong than round, but that's all good. Just don't want to lose the um, consistency where it's sticking together. You don't want to separate it and have two different hemispheres, two different pieces. Okay, so that's 
looking pretty smashed. Now let's go to this side and add some seasoning. That's cooking. I've got that on seven. Make sure our onions are not burning. One of the things we can do to make sure that's not going to happen is put some oil in there. burning. That's what I needed was a little, a little lubrication in there. Put some oil in there. Add salt and pepper. Add a tiny little bit of roasted garlic and herb. See how it happens there. Just a little bit. No, uh, that should give it a good flavor. I'm going to get these done and then put it on the burger and it's going to be delicious. That is my desire at least. So back to the burgers. We're starting to cook. The idea or the concept behind the smash burger is having it really thin but stretching it out. Very fatty. I usually like to get the 15 or the you know the extra lean burger but and I had it in my basket but this guy at Food Line I went to Food Line this time and this guy that worked there we were discussing the different kind of meat and he told me that you know if you want to have a good burger you need to have something that's going to have a little bit more fat and grease so he talked me into it I got this one let's we'll see if he was right now I really can't stand all that grease So I try to keep these paper towels around and it will soak up a lot of that grease. Look at that. Onions are cooking nicely. Very hot. It's time to flip. Alright, look at that. Man, that looks good. Why have I not done this before? Almost look like it changes the texture of the burger. Seems like you'd make great hamburger steaks out of this. Okay, this is going to be delicious. I can tell. So let's go ahead and move on to the next phase while that's cooking. And I'm going to bring you back over here. This is awesome bread. Had not had a bad look yet. I got the other bread in the last few times I've tried different things like Sarah Lee and uh, Nature's Nature's Grown or Own. I can't remember exactly what it's called. This wasn't that good. This is so fresh, man. Better not tell y'all. I'll let the secret out, and then all the loaves will be gone. All right, perfect. Look how much grease has already developed. I mean, we just got it out and now it's completely full again. I mean, saturated. Saturated with grease. It's okay. We're going to get that out of there. Hmm. That's hot. Done. 
We better hurry up with our bread then. Let's see here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna kill the heat so it will stop cooking. You don't want it to sit inside the grease though. So we have the burger at the point where I'm going to um, cut the heat off. So the grease still in there. Oh my God. Just too much. Okay. And so now, what I need to do is some cheese on there. Let that cheese start melting on the burger. Cheese is melting. I have my first piece of bread buttered up and ready to go. So I'm gonna put that down. Just get the eye back on. I'm gonna deliver one of these burgers. But first, oh, what I need. It's like getting grilled cheese sandwich. You want it to be real cheesy. So I'm gonna put a piece on bottom too. See that? I'm gonna put a piece on bottom, and then we'll deliver this burger right on top of it. Oh, baby, that's gonna be real cheesy. All right, so now we have the top. A little bit of pepper. Okay. All right, we have that cooking, and now. While that's cooking, I'm going to butter the rest of this bread this other two pieces. Oh, this is going to be so delicious, I can tell. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's going to be real cheesy, too. on the bottom. Let's take a sneak peek. Sneak peek. Okay. 
big. Oh man, it's starting to brown really nicely. What I would consider to be done. Oh man, we saved it just in time. Look at there. Oh man, this is so good. I'm so excited. Can you tell? So we do have cheese on both sides. It's gonna be super cheesy, deliciousness. We have those sauteed onions. Oh man. All right, it's not gonna be long. This thing is going to be done. It's gonna need a home right here. ideas swirling around in my head this is just one of them the most recent one in fact the other two this morning I've tried to make two times and just got interrupted both times it just didn't work out all right that's looking like darn near perfect grilled cheese sandwich right there but then we have that onions and the beef in there look at this I'm gonna open it up for you look at that cheesiness oh my goodness all right let's get this off the eye the eye is plenty hot and let's put this on we don't want it to burn though Alright, throw it on the cheese. I'm going to back the heat off a little bit. It's all the way at 7. Alright, let's deliver the burger. We already have the top cheese melted. So that's going to be perfect. Perfect, perfect. Mm. Oh, baby. A bit of pepper. Let's do a little salt, too, on this one. A little bit. And I'll sprinkle some on the other one too, that way it doesn't feel left out or anything. Okay. Definitely don't want to burn it. I like to try to I like to slide mine around just a tidbit. Let's see if it's hot enough. Oh man, it's already hot enough that it's um, pretty much cooked that side perfectly. Look at there golden brown deliciousness that didn't take long at all definitely don't want your pan hot enough if not in my opinion in the past it has stuck to the pan you don't want that you notice i didn't have to spray the pan with anything it was already good to go i'm going to be cutting this in half to show you how delicious and good it is in the middle we need to get that off I bet you it's already cooked. Oh, it's just a little bit more. A little bit more. Alright, while that is finishing, let's slide you back over here and let's look at the final product here. Picture, so I'm gonna get a picture real quick. Done. Yeah, it's done. That's all I needed was just a few more seconds on that side. Just how I like it. Two smash burgers. Oh yeah. Nice and hot. Delicious. Look at here. Oh man, look at that delicious cheesiness. Oof, man, that's gonna be so good. We do have onions on there also. Trying to just use the front part of the knife and not go all the way through with the whole thing so that it retains its cheesy deliciousness. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. Alright. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. 
go ahead and get in there and make it. Have a good day.